Hello, good morning, beautiful Yoga Burn tribe. I hope that you're having a great day. I am outside with you today and I'm gonna do something that we haven't done in a long time. Last year, I started a series of videos called Real Talk videos where we would sit down and talk about things that really matter to us and kind of have different topics that we're gonna go over together that can help us us look our best, feel our best, and get a good mindset going on as well. So today what I am going to be sharing with you is my morning routine and a morning routine that is great for helping to slim and trim and tighten the waist. Um, because there, of course, is many exercises, are many exercises that we can do that are great for targeting this area. But there's also, I got about five great tips for you that make the difference when it comes to targeting the waist specifically and flattening the belly specifically. So we're going to go through that today. And yeah, I'm doing great. I hope that you are doing great too. And let's go ahead and get into this. This is a nice kind of form of live as well that you can post any questions that you have. And I'll really make an effort to take the time to look through your questions and answer as many as I can as well. But it is kind of a little chill chilly out here. So I'm going to cover up a little bit. So tip number one when it comes to your morning routine is to make sure that you're actually getting up early enough to get done everything that you want because when you really push it, when you hit that snooze button, when you wait to the last possible moment to get up early, um, and start your day, you're just not going to have as great of a start. I mean, we all know this and yet it's really, really tricky to sometimes just make sure that we're not hitting the snooze button and we're being honest about what time we really should be getting up. So I would say try your best to get up early enough that you're not rushing around. And you can work backwards from this. So kind of think about, okay, it takes me 10 minutes to shower, 10 minutes to do my makeup. I like to sit and check my computer for five minutes before I leave. I want a 15 minute workout. So that means I need 50 minutes. So realistically, if I have to be out the door by eight, that means I should be getting up by seven and give myself a little 10 minute buffer, right? So I like to, I don't have a set time that I do my morning workouts, but I've noticed that if I don't get it done by 830, then I'm probably not going to do a morning workout and I'll end up doing a workout later in the day. So I always try and get my workout done before 8.30 in the morning. Um, and that makes sure that I'm, I'm definitely going to get it done. Because I work from home, so I'm really lucky in that way. But still, I mean, once the workday starts, it's started, right? So I'm not just going to stop in the middle of my workday and like do some yoga. <laughs> not a long practice anyway. So that is tip number one. Hello, hello. I see you coming on. Yes, I made sure I got the beautiful ocean in here for you as well. If you're having a hard time with sound, you have to tap the video and then the sound should come on for you. Tip number two, this is my big glass well, jar of water. And what I really like about it is it has the measurements on there, 700 milliliters or 24 ounces. So I try and drink at least five of these a day. And I like seeing the measurements. I do also pour in a little bit of lemon juice. I just get organic lemon juice um, that's like not concentrated or anything, just the real deal. And I just put a little drop of that in there every day so I don't even have to worry about squeezing a lemon in there. Um, so water, as much water as you can. I do drink coffee and tea. Um, here's my coffee as well. And I would say to try and drink as much water as you possibly can before your caffeine because caffeine is a diuretic, it dehydrates us, so we really want to boost our water as much as possible. And of course, that helps when it comes to slimming and flattening the waist as well. When we're flushing everything out of the body um, with lots of water, that's a great way to help keep a nice slim waist too. 
I see a question coming on here before I get on to the next one. Does yoga help to tighten any loose skin on the belly? And this is a question that we get quite often actually about loose skin. Now, when it comes to loose skin, that can often be because of weight loss or after a baby. So important to think about um, the skin is not like a muscle, right? So it's not like it can just miraculously change, but with time, it can get Get better for sure, especially if you're taking in lots of healthy foods and nutrients and lots of water. But I find the thing that helps best with tightening loose skin is gaining a little bit of muscle in those areas. So if you feel like, for example, you've lost a good bit of weight and you've got some loose skin on the arms, gaining muscle and focusing on gaining strength and building a little bit of shapely lean muscle can make a difference when it comes to kind of filling that space out a little bit and helping to give the appearance appearance of the skin tightening. So that's my answer to that one. And let's get on to number three. This is an important one. When it comes to your morning routine, it is important to have a plan for what style of movement you're going to do. Um, If you just say like, yeah, maybe I'll get up and roll around on my mat a little bit. (laughs) Like that's not as motivating as when you're like, okay, I'm going to get up. I know that I'm going to be doing my 15 minute workout. And of course we are talking about slimming and trimming the way so we have to touch on the trim core challenge which is a 15 minute three times a week challenge that is designed for women who want to slim tighten and tone their waist while also releasing a little bit of weight and i did place a link around this video for you so you can head on over and check that out i can walk you through how the workout works um, and you could always incorporate that into your morning routine i designed the trim core more than any other program, routine, challenge to be done specifically in the morning. And that is because we do stomach vacuums in there. And stomach vacuums are wonderful for helping to really cinch in the waist and help flatten the belly. Um, So stomach vacuums in the morning kind of leads me to my next point, which is what I can teach you in the trim core challenge. But there's also videos in the Facebook library that are all about the stomach vacuums. If you want to learn how to do that I would love to teach you how to do that too and then I see another question here uh, Colleen says she loves her trim core workout I know I love it too and Michelle does too I know I shower after for sure um, and Crystal says trim core challenge is the best decision she's ever made oh that's so amazing thank you so much all of you for saying how much you love the trim core it's the newest one I filmed it here in Florida and it's absolutely I love the way it looks too it's just so beautiful and very very effective as well so many women all over the world all different ages fitness levels and experience are having wonderful results with the trim core challenge so i highly suggest you check it out um and then i saw a question about a shower yeah i definitely shower after which is another reason why working out in the morning is so great is you just like wake up you know, maybe you want to have a coffee or some water and then do your workout and then you shower after and you're done for the day. You don't have to worry about it later. So there we go. So I've got tip number one, wake up early enough to actually do what you want to do. (laughs) Two, drink a full glass of water before any caffeine and as much water throughout the day as possible. A boring tip, I know, but it has to be in there. I'm sorry. Tip number three is have a plan for your movement. Is it walking the dog? Is it doing a trim core workout? Is it one of your other yoga burn practices? What are you going to do? Make a plan, put your yoga mat out the night before. Number four is the stomach vacuums. The stomach vacuums I can teach you how to do in the trim core or you could do them. Um, I do have some free videos as well in the library for you. And then number five, this is a big one. Number five is take a moment for gratitude, prayer, or meditation, whatever works for you. Um, I've been trying really hard to get back into my meditation practice. That has been lagging for me at the start of 2020. Like I have not been doing meditation like I like to. (sighs) 
I feel like I get too distracted. I'm trying to do too many things. If I get on my phone or my computer, I end up doing what I'm not supposed to be doing. So I find if you can have your meditation in your mind already or have it pulled up on your phone the night before. So when you open your phone in the morning, boom, there's your meditations and you just know where to go. You can't look at anything else. <laughs> Take some discipline, that's for sure. Um, but I like to put my AirPods in and do a 10 minute, 10 to 15 minute meditation every morning. It makes a huge difference in how we feel, in the way we approach challenges that come up throughout the day. There's no denying that, but also it helps us to deal with stress. And stress is like the leading cause of disease and sickness within our bodies. So really, really important to do that for the health reasons, but also cortisol, the stress hormone, causes fat storage around the midsection. So if really working on slimming and tightening the midsection is important to you, then you really got to prioritize your stress. Look at your stress. Are you letting yourself get worked up? Are you freaking out about small things? <laughs> it happens to the best of us. I mean, I've been there. I'll lose my temper about something so stupid. And I'm just like, why? Why am I doing this to myself? It's so silly. So make sure you learn how to deal with stress. Yoga helps, workouts help, meditation helps, um, and gratitude helps big time. Okay, so let me answer a few of these questions here that I see coming in. Okay. So, is it good to alternate workouts like trim core one day, booty another day, or is that too much? I would say yes, that's what I do um, when it comes to my workouts. I like a lot of variety, so I right now am doing a mix of total body challenge and booty challenge is what I'm focusing on. I did trim core for, you know, the whole um, 12 weeks and then I took a little break from that. So mix it up, but ideally try to maybe just incorporate two to three routines at a time instead of like having like five different things going at once, <laughs> but really whatever works for you. Yep. How often during the day do you do the stomach vacuum? I just do it first thing in the morning and I haven't been doing it because I got the flu last weekend and I was throwing up and my abs were so sore for days. So I need to get back on my stomach vacuum as well. Yes, and Linda is asking where she can find the best exercises because she's coming to Florida in March too, which is awesome. So I've placed the link around here for you that you can just tap that link and head on over there and that'll take you to the page that has the targeted stomach exercises that are amazing. Let's get into this. What about workouts in the a.m. and then shower, then meditate in the p.m.? That's a great idea, Rhonda. I love that idea, too. Natalie says she's hit a plateau and stopped losing weight. Will trim core help with that? We have definitely had a lot of women who have noticed um, weight loss results from trim core because there's a little hit cardio portion at the end of each workout, which really helps us to burn extra calories. So, yes. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get one more. Okay, and then I see one more here. I know the stomach vacuum is a big question. So, um, Danny says that it's hard to see if she's doing the stomach vacuum right because she has a little bit of weight on the belly. So, one of the biggest tips I would say is, is when you're doing your stomach vacuum, I can show you. <laughs> So the stomach vacuum is when we pull up and in, so that's what a stomach vacuum looks like. But if we have some weight there, it can be hard to tell. So what I would say is do your stomach vacuum and then use your hands and press right in in your rib cage here. So your rib cage is right here. And I would say press into that area and see if you can feel that it's kind of doing that pulling motion up and in. So even if you can't see it, check with your hands to feel for it if that pulling up and in is happening right at the top of your rib cage, okay? That'll definitely, definitely help. 
And what I listen to during meditation is, funnily enough, my own meditations, which you get for free in the Kickstart Kit, Body, Mind, and Spirit. They are really good. I love them. Or I listen to music and focus on mantra. Mantra is when you repeat something over and over and try and keep focused on that mantra through your whole meditation. Right now, my mantra is I trust myself completely. Um, Sometimes I have worry and doubt creep in and I feel like I trust myself completely makes me feel like, boom, I can handle whatever comes up and I know who I am. It just makes me feel good. I trust myself completely. That's my mantra right now. And let's see if there's anything else yeah perfect perfect okay well there it is real talk episode four i'm hoping to get a lot more of these videos done for you guys um you are such an amazing and special special part of my life so thank you so much for being here in this community we have had rapid growth over the past year and so many new women and new faces which is why i think it's really important for us to get together and talk and just meet each other a little bit more because because um, I know there's so many new faces here. So I look forward to connecting with you even more. D, how long can you hold the stomach vacuum for? I would say to go start with five seconds and then work your way up to 10 seconds, okay? Have an absolutely amazing Sunday. It's Sunday, family day. Spend time with your family, whatever that looks like for you. Remember, family are the people that we choose to spend time with, the people we choose to love. If it's our dog, our cat, our goldfish, our neighbor, our mom, whoever it is, Sunday family day. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. You guys are my family and I'm here for you. I've got your back. Send in your comments, send in a message and yeah, I can't wait to connect with you guys even more this year, especially now that I'm feeling better. (laughs) Have a great rest of your day. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.